Hello there, I'm Dennis Prigger. This is the Fireside Chat, and it's number 298. The reason I know it and didn't have to look at Megan for the actual number is we're so approaching 300 that I'm very keenly aware of it. By the way, there's a great lesson to be learned. I was just saying it prior to the Fireside Chat. In life, progress is made slow and steady. You just do it regularly, not, not necessarily a vast amount. It goes against our nature because we like to procrastinate. And yet, this is a perfect example. I can't believe it's the 298th. But do it once a week, it mounts up. Anyway, great to be with you. And for those who are new, this is uh, Snoopy. And Snoopy is the late Otto's brother. And he's a terrific basset hound. And we figured you gotta get we gotta get some dog in the dog area. I don't know how long he'll be here, and the answer is not at all. But you got him. Okay, bye, Snoop. By the way, if you have a basset hound and an English bulldog, which is what we now have and had with Otto, you probably have what I would consider the two funniest breeds of dogs. There, that is uh, the, the Basset Hound and an and English Bulldog. So uh, I usually begin with some thoughts and then take your questions. And I have a very quick one because I want to take as many questions as possible. Last week, I think I only got to one aside from the video question, right? So that, that's, I, I, I have a backlog. So I mentioned this on my radio show. The CDC in the United States, the, the big health agency... Center for Disease Control, the CDC on its website, you can obviously look this up, it now doesn't say pregnant women, it says pregnant people, and it doesn't say women who are, or breastfeeding women, it says uh, breastfeeding people, or people who are breastfeeding. So all I can say is, if this has so affected uh, the the CDC, this nonsense and this dangerous drivel that uh, men give birth and uh, men breastfeed, not not just women, then I, I have a question, and it's a very open and honest one. Since they're so utterly and totally untrustworthy in that arena, in what arena are they trustworthy? I think any, anyone who understands that only women give birth and only women breastfeed has to ask, have to ask that question. Where should we trust them? So I, an example is if they say get a COVID vaccine or a COVID booster. Wait, aren't you the folks that deny that only women give birth and breastfeed? So why are you... Utterly, utterly and totally unreliable in that arena, but you're completely reliable in the, in the other arena. I, I, I think that that's a fair question. I don't believe that there's any other answer than you're not reliable. It is obvious that you have allowed radical politics to overtake science with regard to who gives birth and who breastfeeds. Then why didn't, uh, why isn't it politics that has overtaken your position on COVID vaccinations. So everybody, my weekly reminder that to watch and or hear the rest of this fireside chat, go to PragerU.com. We are trying to have everybody watch and listen to the fireside chat directly to start it off at PragerU.com because we don't trust big tech. It's as simple as that. We don't know what they'll take down, when they'll take it down, if they'll take it down. So we would like you to watch this and listen to this from the beginning at PragerU. But if you've been now on social media watching, uh, please go over to PragerU.com and get the PragerU app so that it becomes effortless. Thanks.